to Construction Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to start a new uh, series on this game. Uh, so I've played the game for a couple hours, maybe. Well, not even that long, really. Um, just going through the tutorial, uh, messing with the settings and that sort of thing. Uh, but one of the things I know my intention was to do like a test character, get all the settings set up, and then start a new character. But it looks like the settings are only saved with the character and not, you know, for the whole game. So I'm going to have to redo the settings after we create the character. But I have a pretty decent idea of what I want to do to start with. So that shouldn't take too long. Um, so anyway, yeah, this uh, game has been... Uh, kind of on the radar for a while. I've never played a, a previous version of this game. I guess there were earlier versions of Construction Simulator. Um, maybe they even started on mobile. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I've never played it before. But I have been playing uh, Farming Simulator 22, Gold Rush, and American Truck Simulator. And so this seemed to be another good sim game uh, for me to try out. I'm not sure how well I'm going to like it in the long run. Uh, but if I like it, and if you guys like it, and you're hitting the like button and leaving comments and, and that sort of thing, uh, we'll we'll see how far we go with it. Uh, but for now, it's just kind of a wait and see. We'll give it a couple episodes and go from there. Okay, so that being said, let's hit the start button. We'll create a new profile, and uh, we'll go with this guy on the end because he's got brown eyes and I got brown eyes, and so that kind of works, right? So we'll accept, uh, accept him. Excuse me, as far as this stuff goes... Um, we'll go with the yellow hat, and I did I did get the extended version, uh, or addition, I'm sorry. So uh, we have a couple of extra things, including some extra hats and that sort of thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, player's name is OG. Put that in over there. Accept. Start a game. Create a new company in the USA. Accept. Uh, we'll go with the excavator logo. Accept. Company is OG Construction. Okay, my, my keyboard's kind of off to the side because I have my wheel and my stick shifter and all that stuff set up here. And uh, we'll start a game. All right, let's do this. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to adjust a couple of settings as we go. But um, after, you know, experimenting and doing a little bit of test playing and stuff, I have a fairly decent idea of what I need, at least until we get to a new piece of machinery that hasn't been in the tutorial. Okay, one horse town. One summer morning, you wake up in your small hometown in the distance. The rooftops of a sweltering city flash in the light of the sun. You vigorously forge plans for leaving the sleeping place as quickly as possible, but there's no escape without money or wheels. Then, out of the blue, an old acquaintance gets in touch. It's Hoppe, the owner of a small local construction company. He may look tough on the outside, but his heart's in the right place, and his guidance helps you quickly break into the building industry. So, it's time to set off for adventures in the world of the self-employed. All right, so yeah, we are going to, this first episode is going to be just getting through the tutorial for those of you who maybe have not seen it yet. We'll press enter there. Okay, so it wants us to move around like this and use the camera and that sort of thing uh, to do that. Okay, so now let's stop right here and go into settings. Now we're going to adjust a couple of things. So for, um, let's see, for gameplay, we want... Uh, I want traffic density on low, and I want pedestrian density on low, because those they tend to get in your way, uh, just like they do in Farming Simulator. We'll leave traf traffic offenses on, though I don't think these are active during the tutorial, but I'm not sure about that. On-screen help is okay for now. Crane acceleration is good. Um, let's see. Construction view control, speed unit. Let, let's make those miles per hour. Haptic feed that. Easy economy is good. Steering sensitivity, navigation, target indicator. Yeah, we'll leave all that stuff on. Okay, so for camera... Um, I found out, uh, you know, through some trial and error that this timer setting actually really, in my opinion, which you're all entitled to really sucks because basically what this means is you, you, you turn and look somewhere and then after a, a second or so, then it just flips you back. It's like, you know, return to center. And I don't like it at all because it happens, um, when I don't want it to. Right. Um, so I'm going to set this to hold which means i if i'm holding the mouse button down and then looking a certain place then it's going to stay looking until i release the mouse button okay so we're going to do that uh we're also going to decrease the look sensitive sensitivity on the mouse uh, down a couple of points though i can also adjust that with my dpi setting on the mouse itself uh for the camera controls on the mouse i want this to always which basically means when i move the mouse the camera moves and i don't have to hold a button down for that um so that's oh you know what though now that i think about it this is if i'm using a controller right but i think i think that always th this affects this i'm not really sure that the the settings in this game are not intuitive at least not to me 
Uh, I've had a little bit of a trouble trying to, you know, figure all this stuff out. But anyway, okay, well, let's just keep it on those settings and hopefully that'll be good. All right, now let's go to controls. So what we want to do is um, I have a uh, Thrustmaster wheel and pedals. That's what the B696 is. I also have a SADIC heavy equipment panel. And I have a Thrustmaster TH8 shifter, which I don't think we're going to use because you can't really shift gears in this game as far as I have been able to tell. So let's go to the wheel first. And we want to make sure that we get rid of all of these assignments because we're not going to use our wheel to, you know, get into menus and activate stuff. We're going to use our wheel to drive. Uh, so we don't want any of that crap on. Uh, okay, so now it looks like the steering's already set up, but for the throttle, we want to press our throttle pedal for the brake. We want to press the brake throttle or pedal. And then for the turn signal, uh, we'll use the paddle. And for that turn signal, we'll use the right paddle. And I think I think that's good. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do the horn too. We'll just, I'll use the same button that I use in Farming Simulator for the horn. And uh, lights. I think we'll probably just use the keyboard for that. Okay, so that takes care of the settings for the wheel. Now let's go to the SADIC Heavy Equipment Panel. And we're going to use this to assist with the crane. Um, so let's go to... Oh, the other thing I want to do too is I haven't been able to map camera mode buttons like first third person to my mouse which is what i'm used to for farming sim and um ats and stuff like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put this as button six on my my uh, heavy equipment panel okay so we got that done uh and then for let's see for hooks okay so for rotate hook right um we want to assign that to a uh, twist oh wait sorry uh, rotate stick. No, that was right. I misread that. Okay, so rotate stick right, and then this one is going to be rotate stick left, and then t detach and attach hook. That one I'm going to assign to button 21, which is a big fat button in front of the joystick there. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, for the for the uh, pal finger crane, uh, the rotation of the crane and the boom, we're going to use the keyboard for so I can use my left hand. Uh, and my right hand at the same time. But for stick boom up, um, we're going to invert these. And so this will be the down. And for extend arm, um, I think we'll go, we'll go right. And then for retract arm, we'll go left. And I yeah, again, I've already experimented with these. So that's why I kind of know what the controls are. So that way, you know, we can get them set now and then we can just jump into the game and go. Um, so, okay, so that takes care of that crane. Now for the, I haven't tried the excavator or any of that stuff yet, so when we get to it, we'll we'll figure that out when the time comes. We'll use the keyboard WSAD keys for these, but for extend hook, uh, we're gonna want that to be here, and for retract hook, we want that to be there. Okay, mobile crane, same thing. Uh, so for extend crane, we want, uh, that one, and then for retract crane. No, hold on. Uh, for extend crane, I won't. There, okay. And then for retract crane. Actually, I think I want to invert this too. So stick down. I can always change it later, you know, as necessary. And then for extend hook, uh, we will. Uh, let's go with this and then retract hook will go with this and again i can change the stuff later okay i haven't experimented or experienced any of the rest of these vehicles yet so again as we get to them and go along we will change them i just happen to know you know from already going through the tutorial that we we're going to have to operate those cranes uh, so we got that done okay cool so that should take care of all the controls <laughs> And um, so uh, let's resume and here we go. Okay, so we're going to hit button six to get into first person and we're going to go over here and talk to Hoppe. Let's do it. Ah, good to see you again. Your active help is most welcome. I'm having a tough time keeping up with all the work. Do you know how many people around here are frustrated and thinking of moving away? If things keep going like that, this place could become a ghost town. To make matters worse, the water supply broke down this morning. It seems there's a crack in the pipeline. 
So if you want to help give people here another chance, let's fix the water line first. Get in your tractor and go to the local building supply store. You'll find a new pipe section there ready for pickup. Just follow the navigation to get there. In the meantime, I'll head to the pipeline and take a closer look at the damage. Okay, I like that, uh, you know, there's a little storyline and stuff in here. Um, really cool. Uh, now, there's another setting I want to take care of right away, and I want to make sure that we... Okay, we are in exclusive full screen mode. So that should... Yep, that's exactly what I want. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, let's get in the tractor here. Semi-tractor in this case. G to enter. And I need to use the WSAD keys just to get rid of this little thing down here. Okay, but we're actually using our, our wheel. Okay, let's head on out. We just have to follow this um, little indicator thingy here. That's just a yield sign so we don't have to stop. Now, if I press the middle mouse button, I have some preset zooms and then, you know, just moving the mouse button around, I can look. Um, the one thing though that I don't, that I had some trouble with, if we switch to first person view, which I kind of like to drive in first person view, but the problem is if I look left or right, it, it switches me back to center and I'm not doing that. And I haven't figured out how to stop that because I don't like it to do that. I want to, if I'm looking left, I want to keep looking left until I end up looking left. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's weird too, because if I stop, um, well, okay, stop there now. Oh, no, now it's not letting me do it. Okay, hold the, hold the phone. Let me look at one other thing here. I haven't fully figured this out yet. If we go to, back to controls, uh, no, camera. Okay, so camera control, that's for a controller, right? We're not using that. So we're using the mouse always. Camera dynamic. Yeah, I don't want, uh, you can't disable this dynamic thing. It specifies the intensity of automatic camera movement. A lower intensity gives more control on self-defined camera angles. Uh, um, this is actually handy for operating the crane I found, but for driving it really sucks because it doesn't let me fully control where I'm looking, at least from what I've been able to tell so far. I don't think this applies because we're not using a controller. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I haven't been able to figure it out, so we're just going to make the best of it. Yeah, see, I'm not doing, I'm not moving my camera back to center. It's forcing me to do that. Stop it. <laughs> it's so irritating. Okay. Anyway, um, let's switch back to the other view here because the other thing I've found is when you are in the cab, um, you don't really, oh, I guess we're going straight. You don't really have very good vision. You can't look behind you. And yeah, it's very limited. And, you know, the driving in the game here is... Wait a minute. Am I supposed to go the other way? Yeah, I am. I am supposed to come here later. It's pretty simplistic. It's not anywhere near as sophisticated as, like, ATS. Uh, or even Farming Simulator, for that matter. But, you know, that's fine, because this isn't a construction-focused game, so... All right, here's where we need to go. Okay. So we just discovered the building material dealer. And we're going to hook up to this trailer here. So let's get lined up more or less. Yeah, see, if I go into this view, I can't... That's all the further I can look. I can't look behind me, which is not very realistic. But this is what it is. Okay. So let's back up to here. Now, that little camera zoom-in thing is not me either. That's the game doing it. Hit the space bar to attach. Now, one thing I wish we could do in this game and Farming Simulator and ATS is get out of the vehicle and go actually connect to the trailer. Um, but unfortunately, we can't do it that, that way. There is a mod in, in Farming Simulator that lets you kind of do that, but it's it's not super realistic. But I use it anyways. Anyway, this opens up a thing here where you can go through and you know read about the different things. I'm not going to do that on camera. It's just way too much reading. Uh, one of the things I found, too, when you're new to the game is if you press F1, it brings up controls for whatever vehicle it is, and that is very useful uh, for when you're starting out. Okay, so now we're going to head over to the build site. We've got this water pipe that we picked up. And uh, make sure nobody's coming that way. I don't want to run that dude over. Let's, um, let's get back into this view for a second. 
So this view is not too bad as long as you don't have to look left and right. <laughs> See, it flips to me back. Oh, look at that. I got a bobblehead on the dashboard. That came with the extended version of the game, which I did purchase because it was, wasn't that much more money. So if you're not, why not? Okay, park the tractor in the marked area. You know, that the other thing, too, is that could be a bug. You know, the developers maybe didn't even mean for that camera to switch back to the center. So that may, hopefully that's just a bug and it's something they're going to fix later. Okay, so that's good enough right there. This is the pipe that we need to fix. So it just kind of shows us a little camera view of it. Yep, that pipe has definitely burst open, hasn't it? Looks like we're in some kind of an arid climate like Arizona or maybe Southern California type of climate here. That's the crane we're going to operate. Okay, so jump out of the thing. Now, I just happen to know because I've already gone through the tutorial that there is a collectible over here. So we can find these uh, different collectibles across the map. Uh, I think there's a hundred of them. They're like the gold hammer collectible. There you go. Um, what that actually does for me, I'm not sure, but I think, I think we got it, right? Yeah, okay. Whoops, hold on a sec. My cursor got off the screen, which it shouldn't be because I'm supposed to be in exclusive full screen mode, but... Again, those could be just little bugs that they got to work out of the game. I'm not really sure. Okay, so um, what are we supposed to do? Oh, yeah, enter the mobile crank. Okay, so we, we set up the controls for this, right? Pretty sure that we did. Okay, we need to switch this into working mode so it puts the supports out. There we go. All right. Bring that up and get rid of it. So, um, we should be able to lift the main boom up with this and rotate with the key. Uh, well, I'll use the keyboard keys for that because then it also lets me um, use... Here, go away. Uh, use these buttons for extending. You know what? Actually, hold on a sec. I think I don't want those to be extended. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, inverted. Um, so let's make this stick up and we'll make this stick down. It's just kind of what feels natural. Okay, that extends and that extracts. Gotcha. Okay. So we get this over the thing here, and it does... Will you go away? That's so irritating. Yeah, okay. I'm looking at the manual. Now, uh, I can't I can't get rid of that stupid thing down at the bottom. All right. Well, usually it goes away after you press one, but it's insisting on being there. Maybe it's because I'm in the tutorial mode. I don't know. Anyway, let's move this over here and move that over there. And then we should be able to uh, lower the hook with our stick. Grab onto that and lift the bad pipe out of the way. And then we have to swing it over here and put it on the truck. You can at least go away. Load the defective pipe on the loading area. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, so we'll get this... Actually, we probably want it right about here-ish, I'm thinking. Uh, and we want to extend it out. And drop it down a little bit. Okay, let's move it over this way just a hair. Maybe turn it that way and then uh, down. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we just swing over to this one. Bring that in just a little bit. Bring that over a little bit. And down a little bit. Uh, what the heck? Oh, I guess we have to... I guess we have to back it up a little bit. Hmm. That should be... Giving me the hook... The hook thing. Oh, I guess we were too low. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, lift that up and swing it on over. Uh, 
let's raise this up a little bit more. Yeah, it'll, t it'll take a little bit of getting used to things. It's not really too bad, though, um, so far from what I've been able to, to determine. Yeah, raise this up and move it over this way. So I don't mind, like I said, uh, I don't mind the camera changing view in the cranes. I do find that useful, but man, it is just a pain in the butt uh, when you are trying to drive. Okay, let's get down a little closer and then drop this down. Need to use a bit of a feather touch. Okay, pull that in. There we go. All right, nice. Okay, once you're done, uh, you can hit the F key and hit this little thing, and that just resets uh, the vehicle. If you don't want to, you know, do it by yourself, and then we can hop out. Very good. Okay, enter the tractor, and now we got to take the bad pipe to the drop-off location. Okay, let's head on out here. I, I've got to think that that's that that's a bug that they got to fix with it forcing me to go back to center. I mean, who who would want that that to happen? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Anyway, okay. So let's head on over this way. We come back out and then over to the place to drop this off. It's not too far away. Uh, we do have. See, I can't even see underneath the thing there. So let's go back to this view. Alright, we're good. Whoa. I'm, my mouse cursor keep... Okay, why does my mouse cursor keep going off the screen? That doesn't make sense. Let's go back to here. Let's go to a video. We are in exclusive full screen. Let's switch back to exclusive full screen. Okay, now the mouse seems to be staying on the screen. That's better. Okay. Uh, we're going this way. All right. Right. Oh, we've got some rubber there. We're going right in here. Wait a minute. What the heck's going on here? We just came from here. <laughs> What's it doing? just happened. Oh, I hit the edge of that. Darn it. Okay. Wants me to go this way. I don't know why it sent me through there unless... A yeah, nice stop there. Oh, I know why, because I overshot the street here. Okay. So here's another thing that's really irritating. These cars drive painfully slow. It's like, come on, man. Get moving. Here, let's use our horn. There we go. Oh, did he have his, like, st stereo cranked? I don't know. I'm not sure what the speed limit's supposed to be here. It's probably actually not 15 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, nice stop. Yeah, that was just beautiful. <laughs> I'm just trying to get used to it, you guys. Building yard discovered. Nice. Okay, I think we're done with that business. Uh, speak with Hoppe. I'm relieved. Thanks to your quick action replacing that broken piece, the water supply is repaired and back on. Good job. Since we're finished here, maybe you could give me a hand with something else. Old Joe owns a rundown motel on the outskirts of town. I've been promising him for a while that I would do some renovations on the place. 
Be a good fella and drive the flatbed truck over there. I'll follow behind and tell you what needs to be done. Okay. Flatbed truck time. And we got 25,000 credits too. Very nice. Okay. We are in the flatbed truck and it's got a pale finger crane. And I think I set the controls up for that too. Looks like we're free to go. Let's do it. We'll switch back to this view. I do much prefer driving in this view. As long as I don't have to look to left or right. I might need to tighten up my steering wheel just a little bit too. Go back to the other view because I can't can't see a daggone thing here. Okay, so we're stopped. Waiting for that dude to go. Okay, so he wants us to pull up right over here. This is the a motel that they want us to help fix up. Speak with Hoppe. Old Joe wants us to pretty up his forecourt a little. I don't foresee any big problems. Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now. Something that travelers can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So get in and start compacting. Okay, time to operate the roller. Let's do it. All right, now here, here's a complaint I have about the game. If you look at the roller, the cat CS56P, it looks pretty good, right? I mean, not too bad, fairly realistic, nice little model. And look at the tires, man. <laughs> the tires are terrible. Looks like a plastic tire on a kid's toy Tonka truck or something. So yeah, they need to they need to do something about that, in my opinion. That's that's cheese, man. Anyway, whatever. We won't worry too much about it. Okay, so the roller's pretty easy. We basically drive it around, and we hit the F key, and we have to change it to compacting mode. There we go. And then let's start compacting the reject here. One thing I did also discover, too, is that when it gives you these little, you know, missions like th this, uh, just like the farming simulator game, you don't actually have to complete the whole thing. It'll, you know, you only have to do like, I don't know, 80% of it or whatever, and then it, it completes it, which I kind of don't like. It's not very realistic. I mean, if someone hires you to do a job, right, you got to do the whole doggone thing, but it is the way it is, I suppose. It is kind of fun, though. I kind of wish I was feeling some, um, you know, some vibration in my steering wheel from this thing, from this thing, but it's not, I have resistance, but I'm not feeling like vibration or anything. Um, this is what it looks like from first person view. It is very difficult to tell exactly where the roller is though in the first person view. Yeah, it looks like that's all the further we can go that way. But why don't we... back up along here so we can get the edge of that. Okay. Come 
come over here and get this little edge too. Very good. All right, now back up here and then do another pass. Just take her all the way down. So yeah, this is fun. I'm enjoying it so far. Yep, yeah, see it's flipping me back to the the center again. So irritating. I hope that's just a bug and that they didn't actually design the game that way. Like it's just a leaf or something. The sounds are pretty good. Sounds pretty authentic. Not that I'm an expert in roller sounds, but. It'll probably end here in a moment. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan, i got to tell you. I wish we had to actually finish the job. But it is what it is. Okay. Now, uh, enter the flatbed truck. Okay. Now we got to go get the letters for the sign. Let's make sure nobody's coming there. Good. Now drive to the Monument Hotel and get the letters so we can remount them here. This is going to be fun. See you later. Okay. He says it's going to be fun. Uh, let's switch back to first person. Uh, I do have a head tracking setup too, but I don't think the... I don't believe the game has head tracking. I don't have it enabled right now anyway. Okay, so yeah, we have a fairly long drive now to go into the city to get the signs. Uh, or I'm sorry, the letters for the sign. And then we'll operate a stationary crane once we get there. The, uh, the landscape looks pretty nice here too. I like what they've done with that. Not sure what the speed limit is here, but we do have a green light. So let's just go right on through. You know, one thing I think I do want to check real quick is let's go into here, gameplay, steering sensitivity. Let's set that down to 0.5 and see what that does. I have, I have way too much of a dead zone is the problem. It seems like that added more dead zone. Okay. So let's go the opposite way then. We'll go back to gameplay. And let's set this to... Let's set that to two. I had to actually step away uh, in real life for a little bit there. Uh, so yeah, let's try this at uh, two. I think that's better. Hmm. I don't know. Let's let's bump it up even a little bit more. Gameplay. We'll take it up to four. It still has. Uh, I mean, I'm moving my wheel. You guys can't see this, of course, on the camera, but I'm moving my wheel at least two inches before it even engages. That's way too much of a dead zone for my liking, but um, the sensitivity thing doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, so oh, whatever. Okay. 
I mean, I can work with this. This isn't terrible. Okay, let's slow down here. And we're coming into the city, which is kind of neat. Assuming that's where we're going to be doing most, if not all, of our construction. I don't know what the game has in terms of, you know, maps. I, I mean, I know there's a, a U.S. map and a, a European map. Ooh, that's quite a sharp corner there. But, are, you know, are they going to add, like, DLCs to it or how? I'm not sure how that works. It looks pretty nice, though. I mean, you know, the landscape and everything. Okay, so I want us to turn here. I don't know if I've seen a speed limit sign anywhere. There's a river coming down that way, which the game won't let me look at. <laughs> Keeps flipping my view back to the center. And looks like we have a... Is that a red light? I think it's a red light. Oh, okay. It's just turned green. All right. Let's switch back into third person view here and we're going to turn into this little spot actually let's, let's park on the street where it's a little flatter Hopefully that'll be far enough in. Mm, I don't. Yeah, no, I think it wants me to straddle it because it should be registering that I'm here now. There we go. That, that's what we needed. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the M and the O-Tel letters off of this old hotel here. Let's hop out of the vehicle. And jump up into the crane. There we go. Okay, so uh, we should be able to use the keyboard to rotate and to move the the trolley right about there and then my uh, side panel stick will lower the the hook here there we go load all five letters on the loading area of the flatbed okay so we need to bring this back And bring that over a little bit. It is helpful to have that little marker thing uh, at the bottom there. All right, and then we drop this. Let's turn it this way so it's going the right direction. You can do that by just twisting my stick. Let's get down a little closer too. Turn it this way just a little bit more. Oh, there's not a whole lot of play in there. Awesome. Okay, so we got the first letter loaded. Let's get the rest of them loaded. We got the M, now we need the hotel.
Okay, that gets the letters on there. We will go to F, reset the crane, and climb on down. That was a fast climb, man. Time to bring the letters back. Okay, now we can um, fast travel back to our location. Uh, which I'm going to do just because I don't want the videos to, to get too terribly long. I'm not a, a huge fan of fast travel in general, but sometimes it's it's a good idea, uh, like now, so we don't have too long of a video. Okay, so we're going to click on this, and we're going to fast travel. And that takes us back to the motel, where we got to put these letters back up. Okay. So we'll pull in here. And then uh, we need to switch this to crane mode. And now we operate this crane. Okay, so that raises up the boom. And that raises up the stick. Extends it out. Okay, L first. Oh, okay, hold on. Easy there, bud. Grab the O next. So I imagine in the real world, you would have, like, Hoppe up there on the roof, you know, guiding the letters into place. Plus, you know, someone's got to be up there to fasten them down anyway. But the game seems to be pretty forgiving about not having stuff very precisely placed. I'd kind of, like, wish that it did, though. I mean, not, like, perfectly placed but maybe a little less forgiving just so you had to be a little more accurate with the tool um but i haven't noticed that kind of a setting maybe there is one and i just haven't come across it yet but overall it's pretty fun i'm enjoying it so far okay bring that up there there we go okay reset the crane by hitting f and hitting the reset button and there we go. Go back into driving mode. And then we'll go talk to Hoppe. Guess we can pull over here. There we go. All right. Let's go talk to our buddy and see what he has to say. All Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. 
Even the recycled neon signs are working perfectly. Nice. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then let's meet at the old gas station in town. Someone else there needs our help. Okay, so he wants us to meet him at a gas station in town. And we now have 50, 50,000 credits. Beautiful, and the game is saved. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. So I believe that finishes the tutorial. So now we're going to get into actual uh, jobs in the next episode. But hey, let me know in the comments if you guys like this and if you want to see more construction simulator here on the channel. Uh, I'm uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not 100% sold on the game, um, but I'm having fun so far. So we'll, we'll just kind of see how things go. It depends upon, you know, once we get two or three more episodes into it, um, how I'm feeling about it and how you guys are feeling about it, be, you know, t and that will kind of determine if we're going to keep it going for a longer Let's Play or not. But uh, so far, it's pretty fun. It, it's, it, you know, it's, it's not bad. So, yeah, let me know. And uh, with that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.